So since I was young, I really, uh, I was in food, I was uh, tasting things and my mom is a very good cook actually. And uh, so always she told me when store when I was six years old, she cooked something for me and I, I had it and I told her, mom, please let me cook this because I want to eat these every day. Well, actually I never thought to be a chef. Um, I was always involved with food since I was very young because uh, I'm come a big, uh, my family, it's come from the center of the country in Brazil and the food, it's always on the table. So I have contact with food since I was very, very young and uh, always I, I was very curious about to know how this, how, how they made this. I, 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 I would love to do the same. I would love to try to do it myself. And uh, I still remember, I think I told you the story about the coffee. My family, they had a coffee plantation farm and um, my first memory is strong about, food. it's not food, it's a coffee, because uh, they used to, to dry the coffee, to roast the coffee and drink the coffee around the table. And they smell, I was five, six years old, I still remember very clear in my mind the smell of that coffee. So these memories always it's attached to me and um, and uh, after I grow up and when I turn around 16, 17 I really start to cook and after this I used to make big dinners in my house but I never imagined that I would be a, become a cook one day. But uh, I'm really in food for, since I remember. But of course, I have few people that uh, I inspire my, that inspire myself since I start to cook professionally. It's big chefs in Brazil, like José Hugo Silidonio. It's a Brazilian guy that I work. I had the pleasure to work with him. Uh, Claude Roago. It's a French guy that I made some internship with him. He's a wonderful cook. And of course, I read a lot. And uh, Po Bocuse, for me, it's the master of the master. Po Bocuse, yeah, he's a cook. He has a restaurant in Lyon, in France. He's a very well-known chef in the world. And, uh, and his style of cooking inspired me a lot because it's the old cuisine, old-fashioned cuisine. I'm very old-fashioned in my cook. I like to cook my steaks and charcoal grill. I like to do stews in ovens for long hours. I love to work with big, big food. We call very, very tasty food with long hours cooking and take care. This is Pobocu's style. Of course, uh, uh, a lot of uh, experience that I had in my life, I add to this kind of cooking. But for me, he is a, one of the best in the world. Actually, be a chef, it's not be a good cook. You, to be a chef, you have to know a lot of things about cost, stock control, buy the, the, the right ingredients. Uh, it's a lot of things that involve. People now, everybody call themselves chef. And you cannot call yourself chef. Who call you chef, it's the other people. Because they follow you. And for me, I'm, I'm just a cook. And uh, I have my team in the kitchen that without them, I, believe me, nothing happens. kitchen team, it's the, 
I picked them myself. And uh, my chef de cuisine at the moment, he worked for me for more than four years. So it's a guy that I can trust really well. Uh, in my kitchen team, the first, second and third word is quality. Always quality. Because what's happened, if you cannot give quality, for me it's the, 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 the principal thing in the kitchen. What I see in my team, it's uh, they have to care about every small aspect in the kitchen, hygienic, the, 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 the organization, the friendship between them. They have to be together always because it's, it's quite, I know it's, uh, it's, uh, it's a tough job. They are there in the kitchen for 10, 12 hours together and sometimes you, you miss few things and uh, of course you can lose yourself. But I try to always bring them together and explain them that this is the most important thing here. If we are together here, if we put quality, love and passion in what we're doing here, the people outside, they're gonna eat, they're gonna feel this. And uh, I come to, every night I come outside and I try to talk to everybody in the restaurant, the clients because I need their feedback. When I come to a table, I don't want anybody to say wonderful, marvelous. It's not about this. I want they talk to me because I have to understand their taste. I want to get in their taste. I want to understand what they want because these make me a better cook. So always that somebody tell me something, uh, a criticism in a good way, for me it's wonderful because make me grow as a cook. So for me, this is very important and the, the team has to understand these things as well. They have to know that uh, the criticism is part of our job and make us just getting better. Probably if I would come back one day here and I had the chance to choose, probably I would choose the same. Because really it's something that gives me a lot of pleasure. Not a lot of money, but <laughs> give me a lot of freedom and uh, I really love what I do. But, of course, everybody, not just the cook, you have moments in your life that you think, well, maybe it's time to change a little bit, to do something different. But always I come back to the point that uh, my passion always tell me wh why you have everything you want. After many years, I'm doing this, I don't know, from 25 years, maybe. Uh, you, have, you, you have to start to understand about food. First of all, you have to understand a little bit chemical, because you have to chem chemistry. Because you have to prepare food. And uh, it's the combination. It's the, how you put this together to present to people. Because I used to say food, you, First you eat with your eyes. So when you see the plate in front of you, if it's beautiful presented, you really already halfway. The flavors and then after the taste. So of course it's artistic thing because you have to know how to put this together, how to make the right combinations, and of course you have to know how to present this. Well honest I don't believe in, in schools. I believe of course. It's like, I don't believe that the schools make good cooks. I believe good, born good cook, go to school, make you better. It's like any profession, be a doctor. I know a lot of doctors, dentists, engineers, they go to the best schools and they're still not good. So food for me is the same. You have to born with the talent. You have to born with your hands made for this. You have to, again, have the passion to do it. So this for me is energy, it's your own energy, it's the hands, it's what you put in the food, it's how you cook the food. So of course, uh, the school will teach you a lot of techniques, will teach you a, a lot of uh, different ways to do that, that particular food, but doesn't make you a good cook. But in any profession in life, it's like this. I think if you, uh, in this life, 
You find the thing that you was born for. You're a very happy person because you're gonna do very well.